Okay guys, I wanted to show you what I was doing with the unused panels that I had from the first one that were shipping damaged. I came up with an idea since I'm so restricted on time, putting everything together and gluing, I decided to do a dry run of just gluing into a groove here and see how long the glue I purchased takes to dry, as well as get a feel for how much and you know, just get in that familiarity with it such that when I have to go faster if I do it will work uh, pretty well I won't be like learning on the job with live glue and live um, the live panels so again practice makes perfect in my mind so I'm probably overkill for most people but if you're totally new I think that this was worthwhile because what I did was I got a feel for how much glue and then I also used these acid brushes in hindsight, I would have bought the silicone brushes that don't, but I have so many of these. So even if the glue uh, piles up on one, I can just space out some fresh brushes when I'm going pretty quickly across and uh, spread. But like one thing I learned that I need to do when I go live, obviously brushing one way will send the glue down mostly down to this level. So I need to be a little more even with that. And then the other thing I learned though is I do have a lot more time than I thought with this glue. And I wanna thank, uh, I think of Mr. Lundy on the uh, Audio Circle gave me a tip to use this glue versus hide glue. So, um, and this actually is pretty good long time. I came out here 40, 40 so minutes after laying down that one and it was still soft so I think I'm gonna have plenty of time to do it myself um, and this glue actually dries clear and the part is clear it did clump up over here and this is s several hours later and it's still not um, totally dry in a thickness so I'm probably gonna put a fairly thick and spread it out a little more even than this dry run but now I at least have you know a dry run of how I would have done it live and know what I did wrong you know in terms of sp spreading out the glue and I know how much time I have so again you might want to do the same or the fact that I gave you this video may help you um, gauge for your for your project too but I, now I feel a whole lot more comfortable doing the actual gluing so that will be next Okay, I lied. I decided to do one more test in the groove just to get a feel for just practice makes perfect basically. And I wanted to just do it evenly, use a brush to spread it out. Again, probably too much glue for this purpose, but uh, I just wanted to see how well it dries after every 10 minutes, come check it. And I, I think I'll have all the comfort I need. So um, let me give you a quick update in a few minutes. Okay guys, we're over a half hour since I first laid that second uh, test and it's still not even close to dry. Now I did lay a thick, thicker layer, which means it evaporates slower and dries slower. And it's probably more glue than I need. So I will adjust. The only thing I can't test is how much when this, the piece actually slips in here, how much will squeeze out over the end. So I probably have too much glue with this test, but I can adjust that fairly easily live with the first groove, the data, and the first piece I put in, how much it overruns. Like I said, it should be fine because I can wipe it off with a wet, wet rag, and I know you wouldn't want to normally put moisture on uh, MDF like this is here on these test pieces, but Remember, the pieces I have are already primed or have Duratex coating on them. So a wet rag to sop up any um, overflow of the glue isn't a big deal. So I'd rather have more than less, but that's something I will be adjusting on the fly when I go live. So hopefully this is helpful to you guys or if you have a test just so you can kind of get a feel for yourself how you need to spread it and how much time you have. But again, I've got much more time than I thought. So I should be able to do it myself. And again, I'm using this glue thanks to a uh, suggestion from uh, Mr. Lundy on Audio Circle, GR Research Forum. So thanks again, guys, and we'll see you soon.